together. Feel great, man. Feel best I ever felt. How long was the process for you after the meeting in June, and then to wait till everything was cleared? How, how long did that feel to you? Um, it was like a year and a couple months, but I felt like, you know, just being away from somebody I love. Can you walk us through the moment that you got cleared? And Coach Sweeney had called me in his office. I, ain't, I, 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 I honestly didn't know what he was going to say. So, uh, he, ended, he ended up telling me I'm, I'm ready to play. Uh, it, was, it was just something real big. It was real big. That was like, Oh, no, nah, that was, you were talking about when I had. When you got like this. Oh, no, nah, yeah, yeah. It was, um, it was like, last week. Oh, okay. Big appointment. So, so the doctors in June, though, cleared you. You had to get through Clemson, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I had to get through, through all the legal stuff and everything like that. Mm -hmm. That was more just a semantic. You felt like all the time that you were gonna. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I had, I had 100 percent confidence, but I mean, it's, it's always just a curiosity. What was it like waking up this morning? Knowing you would be uh, in the coming out here for the first time in so long? It felt good, man. I was, I'm, I'm ready. I was ready to go, man. Just, just ready to be able to just get back to working. Just, just been off a year. It, 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 it took a toll on me, but back now. Do you feel any physical limitations at all, or do you feel like, like you did? Before? I feel like the old same old J-Roll. How hard was it for you, though, to have to go to protocol? <laughs> and oh, then yeah. you were ready to go, and you, you couldn't get out of here. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, yeah, that, that was just another another form of adversity, man. It's, it's life, man. It, it happens. <laughs> Justin, are you aware of any previous person, like football player, who's had this specific condition and come back? Um, no. Nah. Coach was telling us that he has talked to you a lot about kind of playing fearfully and being ready to take that first yeah. hit. How do you feel about whenever that time does come? I'm ready. It ain't. I ain't got no no piece of fear in me. I'm ready to play. What was that process like when you were going there? You know, finding out that you had that. You know, going through surgery and then sitting out last year. It was hard. Just, 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 just the, just the not knowing part. I mean. If, if, if I would have knew, like if, like, if I would have knew if I couldn't play at all, I mean, it, that would have probably been just, just that curiosity, that, that was just messing with me a lot. Who was your first reaction when you heard you know, that you had that condition? Um, I, I said I said it too. I mean, just because just just how, how it came off, it came off and like, you probably won't ever play again. I mean, this is something I've been working for my whole life since I was, since I was a kid. And just, just having me took away from me like that, that was real hard. Was that thought in your mind that you wouldn't ever play again, or do you always think, you know, I'm gonna try to do whatever I can to, to be, come back? I mean, just, just from from the first appointment with everybody, just just, just hearing that you you might not be able to play again, that, that, that was that was something different. But I always had faith. I always had faith. When you were in the process, when did it come apparent that maybe you could come back, and and, and what doctor told you that that there was a chance you'd come back? Uh, when when I had first talked to Dr. Oconco up there in Pittsburgh, when he said he was gonna do the surgery for me, that's that's when that's when that's when everything had came back to me. Just just gave me a chance, really. Justin, even when you were waiting on work from, I guess Clemson, even though you were confident, you cleared. Did you have a backup plan for, like, if you had not been, like your plan B, plan C? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, it, it, it was never plan B. It was never plan B, plan C. It was always just focusing on one, one thing. Did anybody uh, explain risk to you in terms of, you know, like if you do this, there's a chance of other injuries that could occur? Or did they give you really good assurance that oh, you yeah. should go? Right? Yeah, they did. Yeah, but I mean, God's hand. Do you feel like you are looking forward to this? Um, just that, just that on that same old explosive player, just same old physical, strong, explosive player, and that, that I can take a hit. Is there, do you feel like from the Georgia game, first game on, you're going to be ready to go out there and play a full workload, or do you kind of want to be eased back into things and kind of see how it goes? Oh no, nah, if, if it's up, if it's up for me, no, I'm ready to play a full full quarter game. Coach Sweeney has talked about moving you into the slot this year. How does that benefit your game? Um, just, just because I. I this would be the only position that I haven't played since I've been in Clemson. I played, I played in the boundary. I played to the field. So this would be the only position that I that I haven't played. So I just show NFL scouts that I, they can really put me anywhere they want to on the field. How much are you playing of those three positions? I know today's first day out there, but in the spring, how much are they using you? 
and, and breaking that up? Um, they, they'll mix it up a little bit. I'll, I'll be in the slide and I'll move to the boundary a little bit. But yeah, they, they, they'll mix it up a little bit. I, I probably, I probably just won't only play in the slide. I'll probably be in the boundary too sometimes as well too. What do you feel like about your skill set allows you to be that versatile? Um, just that I'm a big guy, I can and, and I can I feel like I can move like a little guy. Justin, is anybody family member friend that you really talk to maybe every day or just sort of lean on for support? You know, way, as you went through this whole process over the last year and a half. Oh yeah, my mama, she 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 always she always told me keep that faith. That's why I get this confidence from about just about just being ready to go out go out there and play. She always told me I'm a guy, so So you'll always is it an understanding that you'll always have the fusion, but the disc got taken care of surgically. Oh yeah, yeah. Anything else? What do you think it'll be like playing DK and going up against him? That first game, is that, that going to be fun? Oh yeah, yeah, it's going to be real fun, man. That's like that's like one of my best friends, man. So yeah, we we gonna we gonna we gonna go at it. Y'all have some yeah. battles on the practice field? Oh yeah, yeah. When, when last my sophomore year, that he, he the only person that used to guard me. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.